Cool, so let's see how I did things. So in order to kind of make you understand what I went through, I'm going to just port MVVMI to .NET standard in front of you, and it shouldn't take too long. So let's go into GitHub, okay, that's the Git extension, and I'm going to go to take a version of .NET stand, uh, of MVVMI, sorry, called 5.3, and I'm going to, oops, I'm going to check this out. So basically, I'm going to go back in time to before I ported it to .NET standard, okay? So now I got this uh, revision on my machine. <clears throat> and so I'm going to go to my folder, which is here, and MVVM Lite, and then I'm just going to open that in Visual Studio 2017. And so now we can take a, a look at the structure, the architecture that I showed you before. It's going to feel familiar. Okay. And so here you're going to see a few projects. You're going to see, first of all, the PCL version of MVVM Lite, which is my main project. If you want, that's the core. I still have some old versions, .NET 3.5, .NET 4. I continue to support those because I have some users who are still on those frameworks. You couldn't believe it, but it's true. So I'm kind of, yeah, it's okay. You know, I, I can still support that. At some point, they are going to disappear. I have the extras. And so like I mentioned before, the extras are only for the IOC container, okay, which is here. And so the extras have a reference to this Microsoft.Practices.Service location. That's the common service locator that I told you about before. And then I have here those platform assemblies. I have one for Android, one for iOS, one for .NET, etc., etc. So that's cool. Now let's do a new project. And I'm going to choose here a .NET standard class library. So I go to .NET standard. I have class library here. And let's call that gala soft.mvvmlite.std for standard. Let's click OK. And the first thing we need to do is change the version of .NET standard that we are supporting, because by default, it goes for the highest possible, which is bad. It should actually go for the lowest possible, in my opinion, like I told you before. So let's go to the properties. And here you see that this is a .NET standard project. That's cool. But now I would like to support .NET standard 1.0 only. So I start low, and then if I hit a wall and I can't use an API, I'm going to start thinking about, okay, do I have to upgrade to, an, to a newer version? Okay. Cool, so now let's remove this class, and now we are going to start by adding some code. So let's go into the core component, and I'm going to take every folder where I have some code, and then I'm just going to copy that. Now in a real life project, I would use share as a link, like I showed you before. Like this, I still support the PCR version, but I also have a version of these files in uh, .NET standard, but share as a link is a little bit time consuming for the demo, so I'm just going to take those as a copy for now. Okay, so now I have all the core components in this project. Let's try to build. And let me feel you, okay, spoiler alert, it doesn't build. Okay, that's normal, no problem. The first error that we have is this message box result. Message box result is not supported in .NET standard. And in fact, I knew that. If you go up, you see that long time ago, I already started that this class, this dialog message class, which is using message box result, I marked it at obsolete. So I started preparing people that at some point I'm going to remove that completely. Well, now is a good time. Let's just remove it, okay? So I'm just going to take it out. And people have been warned for a long time now, so I'm just going to remove this dialog message completely from the .NET standard version. Okay, now let's see the error list. Now I have something else. I have this threading, and I have a few things like is assignable from, which is missing, and then I have those dispatcher priority, which are missing, etc., etc. So I have a few things. And as you can see, I have here this NetFX core definition. And in fact, what's happening here is that um, .NET standard is following the NetFX core definition. What is NetFX core? It's the version of .NET that Microsoft released for Windows 10, for UWP, okay? Now, what it means is that there are some small changes, and that's why here I have pre-compiler directives. But you see, this work was already done. I don't need to do it again because I did this work already when I did the PCR version. Okay, so now I just need to say this project 
this .NET standard project is also, if I go in the build and I add a precompiler directive, it's also NetFX core, okay? And if I change that to release, it's also NetFX core, okay? Now you see a funny bug, which is that if you, you see they are adding the same things twice, okay? Now I have release .NET standard 1.0 and then I, oops, sorry about that. And I have released .NET Standard 1.0 in the beginning as well. They already fixed the, the bug because I told David Keane, who is an engineer on Visual Studio, about that bug. And then they fixed it already. It's going to come out soon. But basically, it doesn't matter, okay? What I mean here is that .NET Standard follows the NetFX Core specification. So that's cool. Now we can build again. And now we'll have a few other issues. Let's... Yeah, so the other issue that we have is that in addition to being NetFX core, we should also follow the portable namespace. Basically, what it means is that .NET standard is also is closer to portable class libraries than it is to the full-blown .NET. Okay, in terms of namespace definition, etc. So I'm also going to define that in release and in debug, and then we should be good to go. So now at this point, I should be able to build my project. And as you see, build succeeded, which is good. So basically my core components have been ported, all right? Simple changes. One change was get rid of a class which is too old anyway, which was obsolete anyway. Other things was define that .NET standard rather follows the NetFX core and rather follows the portable class definitions. It's closer to that than to .NET uh, classic, .NET full, if you want.